Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the Golden Knights uh, organization uh, announced this morning that uh, we relieved uh, head coach uh, Gerard Gallant and assistant coach uh, Mike Kelly uh, from their coaching duties uh, with our team. Uh, we would like to thank both men uh, for their contributions uh, during their time here. Uh, together we uh, shared some uh, real special moments uh, over the course uh, of their time as coaches. We'd uh, also at this time like to uh, welcome Peter DeBoer uh, as the next uh, coach of the hockey club. Uh, we're excited uh, with the uh, skill set that he brings to this job, what he can do uh, for our team. With respect to uh, you know, what was behind uh, the decision, uh, as a manager, uh, sometimes you have a feeling uh, that something isn't uh, the way you, you need it to be or want it to be. We feel uh, we've underperformed uh, a little bit, and certainly that's not to pile out at the feet of uh, Mike and Gerard, but uh, you know, sometimes you feel uh, a change is needed. So that was uh, uh, you know, what went uh, into the decision. Uh, like anything we do, we try to do what we genuinely believe is in the best interests of the Golden Knights organization, and uh, that's what we've done in this case. It wasn't that long ago you had won four in a row, so how long had you contemplated making this decision? You know, it wasn't uh, you know, a specific block of games or a specific game. Um, it, it's hard to put into words, I guess, unless you've done uh, these jobs, but it's, uh, it's more just, uh, you know, just the, uh, the feeling that you have that uh, a change might be needed. And, um, you know, I wish I could be more specific than that, but that's uh, uh, really uh, how we felt. Uh, we uh, thought about this a lot. Uh, it uh, certainly wasn't uh, something that we did in haste or something that we did uh, based on, as you touched on, the, the recent four games. It was uh, a decision that was arrived at over time. Why Peter DeBoer? Uh, I think Peter's a really good coach. He's had a lot of success uh, in the National Hockey League. Uh, of course, uh, with him working most recently in the Pacific Division, we've had uh, a chance to watch his teams play. I think that his teams are always uh, very well prepared, very well coached. Um, we expect that he'll uh, do a really good job for us. I think he's a very respected coach uh, in the industry. To have Pete lined up right away, when was the first time you reached out to him? This is all uh, in the last 24 hours uh, that any of this is, uh, has gone on, so it came together uh, very quickly, uh, thus the announcement here today. When you say the team has underperformed, what specifically has not gone as well as you think it should? Well, again, uh, Jesse, it's hard for me to get into specifics. I think that uh, <clears throat> you know, you've seen consistency issues. I think that's, uh, that's part of it. And again, I can't be uh, more clear that that's not necessarily, uh, uh, you know, uh, at the feet of the of the two guys who uh, uh, were relieved today, but uh, you know I think our team has more uh, to give, and uh, that was uh, what went into the decision. What element do you think that Peter DeBoer brings that will get you over the top or get you back on track or whatever you're looking for? Well, I think he's. Uh, uh, always been a coach that has a lot of respect from his players. I think he relates well uh, uh, with players. Uh, he's an intelligent guy. Teams have always uh, been very strong special teams. Uh, you know, he's been to the Stanley Cup Finals with uh, with two different teams. He's enjoyed a lot of success uh, in the National Hockey League as a coach. And uh, I think with this opportunity, he'll uh, he'll continue to do that. And then assistant coach spot is also open. Do you plan on moving someone into that? Uh, for the time being, we'll uh, bring Peter into our staff and uh, and carry on with uh, uh, Ryan Craig, Ryan McGill, and uh, our video coach Tom Cruz. Do you expect Peter to be here for practice tomorrow? Uh, I believe Peter will be in either late tonight or early uh, tomorrow morning. You talk to, uh, I don't want to go back to your decision to relieve Gerard, but did you go into this season wondering how this is going to play out, or is it just over the last few months, if you will? No, we are like a lot of teams, had real high hopes for the year, still have real high, high hopes uh, for the year. And, uh, you know, we're in a unique position. We're, uh, we're right in the mix. So this isn't a case where uh, the bottom fell out and we were left with no choice. I guess it was a situation more where, you know, proactively, it was uh, our belief that uh, this is what was going to be the best thing for our organization.
if Pete DeBoer isn't available, does this move happen, or is it more because he's? There's no, there's no reason uh, doing what ifs on the hypotheticals. Uh, you know, uh, the events that have taken place have taken place, and uh, that's where we are today.